and the reality is that people go to drama school, they get themselves into debt. A lot of this is a large percentage, and you know, within a year or two out in the industry, they've had a couple of jobs. They're working in restaurants or bars, pretty unhappy, can't pay back the debt, or live a lifestyle that is even nearly comfortable. And years down the line, they're faced with the situation of: Do I continue like this, or do I just stop this now and go and find a a career and find money somewhere in something that I'm not passionate about. And I think there's, you know, my drama course, there was 20 of us, and I'd say within a, a year, maybe two years, there, there's, there was about, it was reduced to four or five people that were continuing, and it's the same now. Yeah. And that's how many people are going through the process and, and the time and the money doing it to not continuing for absolutely. all these reasons. And, no, and it's, absolutely. You know, it's the nature of the industry, and it, it, it's really important that people go into it with their eyes open, isn't it? And, and they... For sure, and we're doing a lot of work in equity now, much more work than ever did before, although there was always some um, of going into drama schools and, and, and saying to people early on, because that's as important a part of it as learning how to speak clearly and how to fence if that's what of interest or whatever, it, you know. Uh, it's really important that you you are equipped with how does it work? How does that? How does a tax return work yeah. for people in our industry? How does national insurance work? You know, are you going to look after yourself with a pension? What is it like out there? What's an audition situation like? All those things, trying to prepare people for that is. But the other thing that is a big problem is there are far too many courses for drama out there now. There are far too many courses with drama in them and people go into them and they think that it's all going to be great and they're kept in there and they're, I don't know, the, the, the money that the unit, I'm not saying it's, of course, that I'm not, I'm not trying to say that all of these um, training institutions are bad, I'm not saying that, but just that whole thing of like that brings in students into your thing, it, you know, it, it, it perpetuates the myth mm. and out at the end of May, June every year, out tumble all these thousands of young, no, and some not so young hopefuls. And the chances, as you say, of, you know, I mean, within my years, extraordinary, there was only, can you imagine, Valhalla, this is back in 1971, so there were 12 of us in the year, 200 people auditioned, 200. I mean, if it's not 2,000 now, it's, it's way above that. 